Louisiana Beer Reviews Back Bay ESB from Biloxi Brewing Company. This is the last of the Biloxi beers. Um, I reviewed the other three. English style ale, um, serve at 48 degrees, won't take long for it to get up to that temperature in this heat here at 8 a.m. might be 7.59. Um, looked on their website, didn't see any ingredients. Now, Rapier says this beer has been retired, but they didn't indicate that on Biloxi's website. Moderate, well-balanced, English-style ale, mild, bitter finish. A couple of sips of your... I'm not going to read all that about you're in the land of the Union Jack and all that. Okay. Uh, produced... This is a contract brewed beer, which is so common in the brewing industry. It's brewed at Lazy Magnolia in Kiln, Mississippi. Cap's not coming off too easily <laughs> at all. Just strange. The other ones came right off. Okay. Um, don't see a date, guys. And the uh, other ones had a date, guys. And uh, but I'm going to guess it's from January because all the other th the other three were from January 2016. I know. I kept bypassing them. They were $1.99 per single, which to me was a little high. It, the original shipment, I think they sent two six-packs, might have been four six-packs each of each beer in January. And I would say half of it's still sitting on the shelf. But like uh, the distributors talked to me about it and the store manager at Mathern's, they say, uh, look, <laughs> these craft beers... They say they put them out and they sell and then they set and they don't move because what happens is the people jump from brand to brand. They try it once and they're off to something else, kind of like I do. And um, they used to not sell singles there and they would have all these six packs going stale on the shelf. So now um, at least they can kind of trickle them out. Another thing, and I'm not going to get too deep into that, but the manager said we do craft beer to stay in the game. We don't do craft beer to make money. <laughs> I found that fascinating. He says, we sell more Bud Light in a weekend than we sell all craft beers, and including Crafty, because he doesn't dif differentiate. He'll consider Blue Moon and Shock Top craft beer. Then they sell in a month. So he said, to him, it's not particularly profitable. It's an irritant because people will always be calling him. Do you have this one? Do you have this that came out? Do you have it? And they want you to hold it for them. And he says it's a real pain. But um, that's the nature of the market. Luckily, I just drank them. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, the distributors kind of indicated the same thing to me. The uh, Southern Eagle, who had taken over the craft beer market from uh, Glazer, and that was like the big account in New Orleans, they said they looked at it more of a, like a detriment than a benefit. They were, the employees told me they were sorry that they took over the account because it was like a, a, going to be a huge headache. Okay, anyway, orange, hazy. I see yeast chunks floating about. Yeah, orange from that appearance also. Copper orange and a thick off-white head. Um, I was watching uh, Samuel. Um, Craig Samuels. He was doing Kent beer reviews, and he did Fuller's ESB, and I don't see how this can beat that. That's like the dynamite one. And the price is similar for a uh, bottle, although the Fuller's is 11.2 ounces. This is 12 ounces. Anyway, let's go check it out. It smells musty um, a little bit. Little wood, old wood, like old English. I've never been to England, but I've read about it. Old wood, um, a cellar, some dust, some nut, some malts. It's mild. It's uh, it smells really good. Um, you maybe could even possi possibly fool someone into thinking this is Fuller's ESB. But anyway, let's look at it on its own merits. There's a little touch of marmalade, some brown bread crust, light brown bread crust. Limit, 
lemony hop bitterness maybe um, some nuts like um, I don't know some sort of nut and the body is medium and a little slick and the finish is medium dry or I should say mostly dry and refreshing. There's a, a sourdough yeast component okay there's, there's a code at the bottom here 1715B1 1910 means nothing to me guys that chaps my chapstick but they don't have a date put the damn date well <laughs> um, I don't know how well this company's doing. And the, the ship's called the Bitter Inn Back Bay. Someone asked me, how do you know they're not doing well? I, I really don't know that. They might be making a fortune. Um, I'm just going by what I'm observing in one store, that it's it's not moving. But you just said a lot of other craft beers aren't moving. That's true. But some of the bigger ones, like Fuller's, can absorb more of a loss, right? So, anyway. I would recommend it. If you can't find this, just get Fuller's. But um, if you see it, I would definitely try it, buy it, and try it. Decent lacing. Um, almost like a light caramel. I would. This, I'm, I'm looking on the bottle. There's no ABV. And there's no IBU. That's sort of, and to me, inexcusable. Like, you don't pour. You don't provide any information on your website. Nothing. And a lot of companies are like that. They're like really negligent about information. It's like, uh, here's a beer, drink it. No ingredient lists, no stats, just drink it or don't drink it. I'm going to guess that it's probably, uh, I think Rape Beer Beer Advocate was saying 5.4% alcohol. I don't know where they came about that information. It sounds about right. IBU's probably 21 on the Cyclops scale. It's probably three and a half out of five sugar cubes, and uh, two and a half out of five hop cones. It's an A beer. I think it is the most excellent beer. And so for a dollar ninety nine a bottle, I would highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. I mean, it's not like the greatest thing, but it's quite good. Um, say something else can't remember um, oh I know what I was gonna say I think this is the best of the bunch the Goza was kind of it was up to it, it was at the level of the ultra best but that's just not my style so I can't really you know, say much bad about it but I think this is the best of the bunch bunch will I ever try another uh, Biloxi beer I don't know will they come out with another one maybe we'll see so laissez les bon temps relay, a most excellent product, and I'm going to end this review by saying, oh yeah, and look at the grass, it's so high. It, with, with this kind of heat, the grass grows like crazy. I try to cut it every eight days instead of once a week. I'm, you know, getting that extra day so I can shave off two or three weeks in the year of cutting. And it um, doesn't really matter because after one day, it looks shabby. In a half a day, you'll see it sprouting. You know, in 12 hours, it'll start sprouting after you cut it short, short, short. And in tw 24 hours, it's it, it could use another cut, but who's going to cut it their yard every day? Y'all come on down to New Orleans.